What's up guys today's video is on the top 10 best Android phones 2022 through extensive research and testing I've put together a list of options that'll meet we needs of different types of buyers. So whether it's price performance or it's particular use we've got you covered for more information on the products. I've included links in the description box down below which are updated for the best prices. Like the video comment and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get started. Tenth place. Samsung Galaxy A53 5G. For a reason, Samsung's Galaxy A series is the company's best-selling. Phones like the Samsung Galaxy A53 5G opens in new tab, provide everything you need in a new smartphone without adding extraneous features that raise the price. Sub-6 5G means you'll have blazing wireless speeds wherever you go, and a larger battery than last year ensures those speeds won't drain your battery life. This year, Samsung changed the processor, replacing the traditional Snapdragon chipset with its own Exynos 1280. This one is faster in every way, even if it isn't a gaming powerhouse. Furthermore, the phone will feel blazingly fast at all times, with super smooth scrolling that will make your old phone feel like it's from another century. This year, Samsung also upgraded the camera sensors, so the results will be better than ever, even if the on-paper specs appear to be identical to the A52. The camera software improvements made over the previous generation are similarly impressive, delivering the best camera experience on a Samsung Galaxy A series yet. The biggest drawback is the lack of a 3.5mm jack, which was compensated for by Samsung adding 500mAh to the battery. This is always disappointing to see, but extra battery life is never a bad thing. Nonetheless, Samsung retained the microSD slot, making the less expensive 128GB phone model more appealing. This fractal design case is ideal if you want a simple PC build that, despite its understated design, barely makes a sound once it's up and running. As an added bonus, a fan controller is included, allowing you to experiment with temperatures to get everything running smoothly. Ninth place. Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. Smartphones, like any other piece of technology, evolve and change over time. We've seen screens get bigger, cameras get better, and processors compete with those found in computers. The folding form factor is the next big thing for phones, and so far, the best in this category is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. The device is best thought of as a phone and tablet in one. When the Z Fold 3 is closed, you're treated to a 6.2-inch 120Hz AMOLED display that you can use for whatever you want, email, Twitter, YouTube videos, you name it. However, if you want a larger canvas, simply open the Z Fold 3 up. There, you'll find a larger 7.6-inch AMOLED screen with a refresh rate of 120Hz. It's similar to having an iPad mini that you can fold up and take with you wherever you go, which we think is pretty amazing. This is the best version of the Z Fold series yet, with improved hinge and screen durability, IPX8 water resistance, and, finally, S Pen support. That means you can now draw or take notes on the interior screen while on the go for creative or productive work. The only drawback is that you'll have to keep track of your S Pen or put it in a bulky case because there's no way to store it in the phone's body like the Note series. This isn't a phone we recommend everyone buy right now, but the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is the best folding phone we've seen to date. So, if you're willing to spend the money and live with the oddities, the Z Fold 3 has a lot to offer. 8th place. Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3. The Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 feels like the device we've been waiting for since foldable smartphones first appeared a few years ago. This phone has some subtle improvements over previous versions that add up to make it a much better device in terms of performance and usability. To begin, Samsung worked hard to make the Z Flip 3 more durable than ever before, with a stronger hinge, tougher glass and display covers, and IPX8 water resistance. We also get 7 beautiful color options as well as some really fun and unique cases. And just because this is a small, folding phone doesn't mean you have to forego some excellent cameras. The cameras on this phone are on par with those on Samsung's Galaxy S21 flagships. Even though we adore this retro-futuristic phone, there are a few trade-offs to be aware of. For one thing, due to the device's shape and size, there is no telephoto lens. Furthermore, the cover display's capabilities are limited, and the battery life could be improved. Overall, this phone will make a lot of people very happy. 7th place. Google Pixel 5a 5G. The Pixel 5a opens in new tab, is, hands down, the best phone value available today. Google has packed the majority of what makes the Pixel 5 series so good into a smartphone that costs hundreds of dollars less. You also get a compact device that, unlike previous Pixels, excels in terms of battery life. Seriously, 
This phone will last all day and into the next. Perhaps the most impressive aspect of the 5A is its camera setup, which is similar to that of the Pixel 4a 5G and Pixel 5. The primary camera takes excellent photos in all lighting conditions, with night sight excelling in low light situations, and it has an ultra-wide shooter to help get everything in the frame. You get flagship level camera quality on both the front and back of a phone that costs a fraction of the price. The 5A also has 5G, the largest battery on a Pixel phone in this price range, and IP67 water resistance. So, what do you give up by paying one-third the price of a more traditional flagship? The Pixel 5a, on the other hand, is made of plastic and lacks wireless charging and Amway 5G, both of which are standard features at a higher price point. It is also available in one size, a 6.34-inch model, and one color, mostly black. There are no storage size options, either, you get 128GB of internal memory, which should be plenty for most people but a lack of microSD expansion may be a problem for the content collectors out there. All of these limitations shouldn't impede your desire to buy the Pixel 5a, which is one of the best in this category. Google's midrange phone is a winner, from the size to the performance to the battery life and camera quality. 6th place. 1. Plus 10 Pro. The Oppo Find X5 Pro was previously named the winner of this category, but the OnePlus 10 Pro now takes the top spot for Android enthusiasts. 1. Plus has long maintained a close relationship with its community, frequently providing unique features and community-driven feature development in its own Oxygen OS that you won't find elsewhere. While the company's last 12 months have been extremely rocky as it attempted to merge Oxygen OS with Oppo's Color OS, the OnePlus 10 Pro is the first step back in the right direction. While the OnePlus 10 Pro launches with an unmistakably Color OS-inspired UI, OnePlus promises to return to Oxygen OS in the next release. However, This does not imply that the OnePlus 10 Pro is devoid of features. Far from it, in fact. It's just a little buggy at times due to some internal development team roadblocks that had to be overcome. Although the software team has been struggling to find its place, OnePlus hardware team remains at the top of its game. The OnePlus 10 Pro is one of the most distinctively designed Android phones on the market, with a stylish new camera housing, a wonderful to hold curved frame, and a new textured fog glass back. The alert slider is still present and as effective as ever, helping OnePlus differentiate itself from other Android manufacturers. The Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor inside is extremely fast and, unlike some other OEMs, does not become hot to the touch while gaming. The OnePlus 10 Pro also has a truly impressive battery life, with the ability to charge it in minutes thanks to 65 watts or 80 watts charging, depending on where you buy it. The main disadvantage is that OnePlus appears to have missed the mark on auxiliary cameras such as telephoto and ultra-wide-angle cameras. They're not bad, but they're a step back from last year. Meanwhile, the main 48MP camera takes excellent photos in low light and competes in most areas. 5th place. Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra. If you want the best Android phone that Samsung has right now, you should look at the Galaxy S22 Ultra. The phone is especially appealing if you're a Note fan. Samsung discontinued the Note series in 2021, but with the S22 Ultra, it has effectively created the successor to the Note 20 Ultra. Essentially, the S22 Ultra foregoes the design of its siblings in favor of the boxier aesthetic of the Note 20 series. If you're currently using a Note device, the S22 Ultra will feel right at home. The camera housing has a new design on the back, but otherwise, this phone looks and feels like a Note flagship with a Galaxy S moniker. The integrated S Pen stylus, however, is the most notable addition. It's just as good as previous iterations and includes latency tweaks that mimic the feel of writing. The phone features the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset as well as a massive 6.8-inch 120Hz AMOLED screen that is a joy to use. The 4,500 mAh battery easily lasts a day, and there's 45 watts charging as well as 15 watts wireless and 5 watts reverse wireless charging. Of course, the S22 Ultra has a lot of camera tech, including a 108MP primary lens that performs admirably in any situation. While the sensor hasn't changed from last year, Samsung has made a number of noticeable changes to its algorithms, resulting in much better photos. Finally, the S22 Ultra will receive four Android OS updates as well as five years of security patches, making it an excellent long-term option. Given that the phone comes with 8GB of RAM out of the box, Samsung should have included 256GB of storage as standard, but aside from that, the S22 Ultra is the obvious choice if you want the ultimate flagship. 4th place. Samsung Galaxy S22. Samsung has created the best compact phone available today with the Galaxy S22. Over the last 3 years, phones have grown taller and narrower, 
and we haven't seen many manufacturers cater to users looking for a small phone, particularly in the high-end category. The S22 fills that void, and despite having a 6.1-inch screen, it is a mere 146mm in length, 17.3mm shorter than the S22 Ultra. It is also lightweight, making it a pleasure to hold and use. While Samsung reduced the size of this device, it did not eliminate any features. The Galaxy S22 has the same 120Hz AMOLED screen as the S22 Plus and Ultra, and it is powered by the same Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 chipset. You also get the same fantastic cameras as the S22 Plus, as well as the extras like IP68 rating and wireless charging. The S22, unlike last year's S21, has a glass back and a layer of Gorilla Glass Victus Plus on the front and back. Finally, like its siblings, the S22 will receive four guaranteed Android OS updates. The only drawback to the phone is its battery. The 3,700 mAh battery barely lasts a day, and when you need to charge it, you're looking at 25 watts wired charging. Aside from that, the S22 is a truly standout choice if you're looking for a small phone in 2022. Third place. Google Pixel 6 Pro. Google's earlier Pixel phones had excellent cameras, but they were lacking in several areas as phones. The hardware was inferior to what Samsung, Xiaomi, and others were offering in the high-end segment, and it suffered from numerous quality control issues. Google is changing all of that with the Pixel 6 Pro. The phone has the same hardware as the latest flagships from Samsung and Xiaomi, but this does not come at the expense of camera innovation. In fact, Google has managed to deliver significant improvements in this area. There is now a 50MP primary camera that takes excellent photos, as well as an ultra-wide lens that performs similarly and a 48MP zoom lens with 4x optical zoom. That means the Pixel 6 Pro has the best cameras available on any phone today, but it's more than just a phone with great cameras, the rest of the hardware has been refined as well. The back has a beautiful design with a wide camera bar, the screen is a 6.71-inch AMOLED with a refresh rate of 120Hz, and you get a large 5000 mAh battery with 30 watts wired and 23 watts wireless charging. The internal hardware is a true differentiator. The Pixel 6 Pro is the first phone to use Google's proprietary Tensor platform, and it competes with high-end designs from Qualcomm and Samsung. It has two Cortex-X1 cores, as well as A76 and energy-efficient A55 cores, so it can handle anything you throw at it with ease. Google has made mistakes with memory and storage in the past, but not with the Pixel 6 Pro. The phone comes standard with 12GB of RAM and is available in 128GB or 256GB storage configurations. The Pixel 6 Pro is also well equipped in terms of software, as it ships with Android 12 out of the box and will receive 3 Android platform updates as well as 5 years of security updates. It's not quite as good as what you get with Samsung's latest phones, but Google plans to address this issue soon. And when you consider that the Pixel 6 Pro is less expensive than the Galaxy S22 Ultra, you have a clear winner. First place. Samsung Galaxy S22 Plus. The Galaxy S22 Plus has everything you want in a high-end Android phone in 2022. The 6.6-inch AMOLED screen is ideal for browsing, streaming videos, and gaming, and it supports HDR10 Plus playback on your favorite streaming services as well as powerful stereo sound. The 120Hz refresh rate ensures that day-to-day -day interactions, whether you're scrolling through social media or playing your favorite game, are sublime. This is one of the best screens on any phone available today. For 2022, the internal hardware has been updated, with the S22 Plus featuring Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor. This is a massive chipset that will provide excellent performance for many years to come. As standard, the phone has IP68 dust and water resistance, as well as 15 watts wireless charging and 5 watts reverse wireless charging. There's also a significant improvement in charging, with the S22 Plus now including 45 watts wired charging as standard. Then there are the cameras. The S22 Plus has a 50MP primary lens with WA that takes excellent photos in any lighting condition, as well as a 12MP wide-angle lens and a 10MP zoom lens that zooms up to 3x without losing detail. Samsung has been producing dependable cameras for some time, and it has fine-tuned its software and camera tuning algorithms for 2022, allowing the S22 Plus to outperform its predecessors. Then there's the software, thanks to its promise of four Android OS updates, Samsung has become the de facto leader in software updates. The S22 Plus ships with one UI 4 based on Android 12, and it includes the most recent Google updates as well as a slew of Samsung-specific features. With the phone set to receive the Android 16 update in the future, you won't be left without long-term updates. There are a few drawbacks, such as the lack of a 3.5mm jack, a microSD slot, or a bundled wall charger. 
However, when you consider what you get here, Samsung has created the best all-around flagship in the Galaxy S22 Plus. If you've been thinking about upgrading, now is the time. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I hope to see you all in the next video. See you later guys.